August 31st is International Overdose Awareness Day. For over a decade, the day has been marked worldwide with the aim of reducing the stigma around drug-related deaths and raising awareness that overdose deaths are preventable. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at one harm reduction organization. It's called Dance Safe, and it directs its messaging mainly towards music festival goers, inviting recreational or occasional drug users to take what they're calling the Coke Challenge. Yeah, the Coke Challenge. Oh. Coke. The Coke Challenge was a campaign that uh, the Garden, um, an ad agency in Canada, approached us with. Given the contamination of the cocaine market these days and the, the rising fatalities from that, they decided to um, do that and they wanted to um, uh, partner with us. According to a national report between 2016 and 2018, 75% of accidental apparent opioid-related deaths also included non-opioid substances like cocaine. Dance Safe calls itself the largest reseller of fentanyl test strips. The U.S.-based nonprofit purchases the strips from Ontario-based company BTNX. The strip can test for the presence of fentanyl and a number of its analogs, including the highly potent carfentanyl. The fentanyl test strips come in packages that look like this. You would dissolve the drug in water at a particular ratio and then use this test strip to test the presence of fentanyl. One red line indicates a positive result, two red lines indicate a negative result. But Health Canada warns that these strips have their limitations. Okay. And this test strip will help you discern whether or not your cocaine has been laced with fentanyl. Last year, the government released a safety alert warning the public that fentanyl test strips, for a variety of reasons, have the potential to give false negatives, meaning it may not detect a deadly substance even though it's present, potentially leading to a false sense of security. Health Canada warned that the strips, regardless of manufacture, should not be relied on solely to determine if a drug is contaminated. Still, Sferio says he sees the demand is there. Dance Safe also sets up at music festivals across the U.S., offering to test party drugs with the fentanyl strips for free. People who are concerned about their health and safety, which is the vast majority of people who use drugs, we found those people uh, take the time to... Uh, to be safe. In Canada, the strips are used solely by health professionals at supervised consumption sites and overdose prevention sites. Recognizing that the strips were becoming widely available to the public to purchase through sites like Dance Safe, last year Health Canada said it's working with companies to include warnings on the packages of test strips about the risk of unreliable results. In Toronto, Erica Natividad, City News.